Buy or Sell, presented by Pristine Auction. All right, week two edition. These are some bounce back buy or sell questions for you. Mike, Nick Chubb, 100 rushing yards against the Jets this week. Are you buying? Are you selling? Mm. He was 17 for 75 in week one. It didn't feel like that. No, it did not. Uh, But I am going to sell it myself. What do you think? Uh, Man. 100, 100 is a lot of rushing yards, and the, the Jets, we saw, you know, Josh Allen got his. Devin Singletary ripped off a couple uh, decent plays. It certainly can happen, but I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell if it's just 100 rushing yards. If you give me, like, 100 total yards, I I might be in on that. Um, but I'm going to sell. Selling as well. O.J. Howard, 10, oh. 10 fantasy points on Thursday night. 10 fantasy points for O.J. Howard. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Too. I think, like I said, it was it was wild to me that people are dropping O.J. Howard at the at, already. I will, I will uh, bring this forward to you, O.J. Howard. A lot of people drafted him. I mean, he was obviously drafted, yes. so you've got he was him on a your fourth roster. round pick. Then there's going to be the waiver wire reaction. There's going to be T.J. Hawkinson. There's going to be Mark Andrews. There's going to be Darren Waller. Wallers. Darren Waller. I believe that the majority of leagues people are going to be put in a position where they're saying, hey, I'm going to start those three guys that had the big week one. They're going to chase the points. Would you start those three players in week two over O.J. Howard? That I, I am facing that decision. In my money league, I have I paid up for O.J. Howard in that league. I drafted him very high, and I was the one who – I I got T.J. Hawkinson on my team, so I have to make that decision. I would play O.J. Howard over Hawkinson. Yeah, I, I lean that way, but – We'll, we'll we'll let the the rankings. So you're buying ten fantasy points. I am. Jason, yep. are you buying? I am buying as well. He still had uh, three more routes run than Cameron Brait. Cameron Brait had two touchdowns that were both called back on penalty. Howard had a bad fumble, a bad drop. Here's a situation that I am one of the highest concern situations that yeah. I have. Devonta Freeman in week one, eight for nineteen on the ground, three for twelve through the air. The offensive line looks like it's a a problem, which is. A similar issue for Nick Chubb in week one. But the game script was was nasty. Minnesota controlled the whole game. Uh, Devonta Freeman had a fumble. Do you buy or sell 90 total yards against Philadelphia? I have to sell that. Yeah, I have to sell as well. Chris Lindstrom, their, their rookie guard who they were going to be counting on a lot. He has been placed on IR with a foot injury. So the, the offensive line has gotten even worse. It's a bad start here for Devonta Freeman, but I I honestly do believe better days are ahead, but week two is, is going to be rough as well. He split the snaps 50-50 with Ito Smith, exactly. And Devonta Freeman is – so Brooks brought this to me this morning and wanted me to vet these, and the original line here was 100 total yards. And I was like – Dude, yeah, that's a sell. That is not even close. I was like, move it to ninety. Maybe they'll be in. I wouldn't. For example, but maybe they will. Duke and you Johnson, guys are both super out at ninety total yards. Yeah, we are. I mean, Duke Johnson this last week had ninety total yards. So if you, that game, thirty-three through the air, fifty-seven on the ground. Can Devonta Freeman do that against Philly? Of course. But the game script needs to. They need to be able to stop Carson Wentz. I'm not sure that that's going to happen this week. And it after Freeman fumbled. It did seem like he got a little of the uh, oh he did the football justice of we're going to put Edo Smith in. Yep, Aaron Rodgers as a top ten quarterback versus Minnesota this week. Do you buy or sell Aaron Rodgers? Sell. Wow, I sell. This sell, is sell. a sad buy or sell. Yeah, I'm going to. Well, sell. it's supposed to be a bounce back buy or sell, but nobody's predicting bounce backs. I'm going to sell. Gross, gross. It, it's not the best matchup. Minnesota's defense is great. I'm buying. And Aaron okay. Rodgers has not There we looked. go. Some I, hope. I am absolutely buying this. No doubt about so it. So QB 9? <laughs> QB no. 10? At home, at Lambeau, Aaron Rodgers, week two, under LaFleur. Uh, look, it's a better. It, it sounds crazy. It's a lot better matchup than Chicago. Sure. So I'm going to buy it. All right. Cam Newton, top 10 quarterback against Tampa Bay this week. To me, that's a tight one. I'm putting this one on layaway. Can you don't I, want to I, decide? Can I do that? <laughs> like, I think I'm buying it, but I need I need some time. I need another paycheck to be able to to invest on this purchase. Primetime Cam Newton, I'll buy it. 
He looked bad. Yeah. Like, well, he didn't run. And well, yes. fantasy wise, you're going to have a problem he with did, him. He, he did not run, and he was not throwing the ball down the field. I mean, those are the two huge red flags. Do, do you do you ever notice that he? It, if he threw a tomahawk, it would look identical to how he throws a football. <laughs> yeah. it, it's a very interesting throwing motion, yes. It, 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 sometimes when he's on that back foot and he tomahawks that ball, you're just like, when you complete the pass, you forget about the throwing motion completely. Right. But when he doesn't, you're like, you've, you're doing things wrong, Cam. The thing is, is his entire career, Cam, has looked like this. He has <laughs> terrible it's, games yeah. that you would go, oh, he just he stinks. He's not a good quarterback. And then he comes out and is the number one quarterback in fantasy. Yeah, his his huge year, if I recall correctly off the top of my head, his monster year, you know, three or four years ago. Week one was bad, and I believe I dropped Cam, and then you picked him up, Jason, yeah, and rode him to a title. I did. That's why I can't – I'm not just – outright selling this even though he, he looked really really bad with one according to my rankings i've got cam at nine aaron Rodgers at 11 so i am buying cam okay um last season when cam newton had a bad game so he finished outside the top 12 uh, he followed it up with a number seven a number nine a number four all top 10 so uh, he needs to run if Cam Newton's not going to run, then he's not even close to the same fantasy quarterback. 100% that's the issue. And if his foot is not okay, and that's the reason he wasn't running, then there are giant red flags. If you want more of that, click down there, see the whole episode, click over there, subscribe to the show. We're here all year round. Do not miss it.